Hi everyone, thanks for thanks for joining me again. This is uh, this is the uh, this is the video that I promised I'd put out um, with the power overlay that I did a little effort on on the Tumble Mountain. Um, this weekend is the Welsh Hill Climb Championships, which many of you know uh, is taking place up this very climb. So yeah, I rode from Cardiff. Uh, at the start of this ride it took me about two hours to get to the bottom here this this like what you're seeing right here is the lower slopes so it's still fairly i mean like i think it's something like four percent during the lower slopes um and i think actually the the hill climb actually starts like pretty much where this video started um but it doesn't really get steep until right up here where i just pointed so um yeah, I'm, I'm gonna keep talking uh through this video because i think a lot of a lot of guys who do these efforts uh and put their power overlay just put music over the top and it kind of deserves a bit of an explanation and uh you know a little bit of discussion as to what i'm doing it's pretty good angle on this on this garmin verb like you can see almost see the power i'm doing on the on the wahoo um but i did a power overlay anyway um unfortunately it was facing slightly down but it doesn't really matter um as you can see the climb has actually got quite steep now i haven't got the gradient on the screen but i am telling you it is like 12 percent maybe possibly a little bit more uh hence when we're doing 16 kilometers an hour all this well this first section is all um sheltered through the trees it's about well you can see on the left hand side of the screen you can see uh, the first hairpin um, was where i started the effort and then we're just coming up to the second hairpin which uh which kind of marks like the i guess the first checkpoint of the climb uh, from there it gets uh, reasonably straight and uh, holds a constant gradient so i know this weekend um, for those of you that will be doing uh, the hill climb, you'll be able to see your minute man, or maybe even your two minute man, up ahead because it'll be that um, you know that straight. Um, here we are on the hairpin. Um, I finally sat down, uh, keeping the cadence up now because it's important to get in rhythm after that initial burst. Uh, something that I've been practicing. For those of you who've been following me, I've been practicing doing that recently, um, where I've been. Um, kind of surging uh, at the start of the effort uh, to get that average power up and then holding it from there um, I guess like a lot of people have ridden this climb before because this climb has been used in the Velathon um, you know, both the UCI race and the, um, the, the Sportif comes up here um, it actually has a lot of people walking. Uh, I really don't blame them, <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's it's one that you really have to pace. And I talked about it in yesterday's vlog, yesterday's video, that we're pacing it, although it's quite difficult, it, it is a necessity um, because it doesn't really let up until you get way past the cal grid. Uh, and I was hoping to end the effort at the cal grid, but because I was hoping I was going to get there in five minutes, but that didn't happen uh, i got maybe three four hundred meters away from the cattle grid uh, which is about like another minute and uh, i was like no I'm, I'm calling it a day now i'm not going to go too deep because obviously this ride that you see in here was done on monday and uh, that was um that would have meant that i'd done a hill climb on on saturday uh, which was seven minutes i did another hill climb on sunday which was 11 and a half minutes and obviously doing the same kind of effort again today for 10 minutes or, or whatever would have taken quite a bit out to me so um it's important to to hold a bit back where you can um so i felt i felt quite good but not as good as i would have done um if i just kind of i guess maybe done an hour and then done this effort um, instead it was quite a hard two hours to get here the wind um, playing havoc and it, it was like for those who were following on Strava like the first two hours of the ride it was like literally a 1% average gradient <laughs> it was like riding up this main road from Kumkan from, from Cardiff for those who know it the main road um, it literally just goes 
at a one and two percent gradient for like thirty k. So quite an energy tapping road. So when I got here, I was I was pretty. I'd say I was pretty fatigued. At least my legs were a little bit tired from the weekend, but I was still happy to average uh, four ten for the five minute effort that I did up here. Um, I think th- this week is going to be important. Like I'm starting to get to the point now where I'm resting more than I'm training, um, or or rather, whenever I am on the bike, I'm just doing kind of zone one, zone two, uh, and then if I am doing an effort, it is literally like four hundred watt or more. There's like nothing kind of uh, there's nothing kind of in, I'm doing no tempo, no sweet spot, and uh, that that's basically that that's it's purely down to me it's purely down to what i choose to do it's not like you know everybody that i coach does something different it's not like you know this is um i'm not, I'm not gonna say look what i'm doing is the right thing and everybody else should be doing it uh, i'm just saying this is what i'm doing because i feel like at this point in time in this week i'm getting the most out of myself so as you can see, I've finished the effort. <laughs> I've come to it almost good. Well, yeah, I have literally come to a stop. I've gone to my Wahoo. Zero kilometers an hour. Um, but important just to keep riding. Like, stopping would be the worst thing right now. And, like, I didn't go that deep that I've had to have stopped. But, uh, but you get the picture. Um, yeah. So, I mean, the, the rest of the week... I'm thinking of doing uh, something different because training for the hill climbs can often get rather tedious doing the same things uh, that you know work over and over again. So I'm going to do a chain gang uh, hopefully Wednesday night and um, a ride in the morning on Wednesday with some more specific hill climbing efforts. Um, I'm kind of switching my focus now because we've got like less than... Well, no, two and a half weeks until the National Hill Climb, which will be uh, incredibly difficult for me, I think, to be competitive in um, for many people's points of view because it's so short. Um, the hill climbs I'm used to, to used to doing are um, anything from like five to to fifteen minutes. I've not really done anything uh, sub. Mm, sub three minutes I think so it'd be difficult um, but but to say the least I'm going to give it a go and the whole point of me showing up is to just say look you know I've I've obviously been performing in um, uh, you know in, in, in the, the more low key events and it's about time I, I stuck my neck on the line and said look I'm going to turn up to the national champs and you know pit myself against the best riders in the country uh, regardless if the climb suits me or not. Personally, I think I can still do a really good ride, but I'm not under any illusions that there's some really, really powerful, punchy climbers on the course, and, you know, they'll do a really good ride as well. So that's my thoughts at the minute. Uh, this is the top of the steep section. We're coming to the cattle grid now. This is where I was hoping to end my effort. This is where I'm definitely going to end the video to save uh to save me rambling any longer thanks for watching and i hope you get a chance to ride the tumble soon because it is a really good climb all right catch you again